नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स हमेशा खुश रहो बिटिया आई एम जेवियंस डॉक्टर नीरज धोलिया फैकल्टी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड वेटनरी साइंस जयोति विद्यापीठ वुमेंस यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर सो वी आर हियर टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक टाइप्स एंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ वेरियस बायो मटीरियल यूज इन टिश्यू इंजीनियरिंग सो दिस टॉपिक कम्स अंडर दी सब्जेक्ट मेडिकल बायोटेक्नोलॉजी ओके सो दिस इज वेरी फैसिनेटिंग थिंग दैट यू कैन यूज some materials for the uh, tissue engineering means the tissues which are damaged in your body uh, you can use some artificial or uh, natural materials uh, which can help to regenerate your tissue or trans uh, transplant your uh, the tissue okay so what types of materials you can use so the materials you use in the tissue engineering for the purpose of medical uh, medical purpose in vivo so we say that the materials are the bio materials because you use them biologically in biological systems okay so uh, majorly uh, the bio materials which are used in the tissue engineering divided in three parts okay one is the cells second one is the bio material scaffolds or scaffolds and third one is the growth factors so we use three things one is the cells second is the uh, scaffolds and third is the growth factors so uh, the cells which we use here generally stem cells so uh, we have already discussed that that there are two types of stem cells we can use here one is the embryonic stem cell and second one is the adult stem cells yes so embryonic stem cells are isolated from the embryonic stages uh, for example from the amniotic fluid and they have the more potential to um, differentiate into different types of the cell types okay so another type of cell that is the adult adult stem cells so the adult stem cells are isolated from the uh, adult human being okay so there are few sites from where you can isolate the adult stem cells such as the bone marrow Uh, you can isolate the stem cells from the bone marrow which are present in your long bones okay so uh, the cells which are isolated from the bone marrow is known as the bone marrow derived mesenchymal stem cells likewise you can also isolate the adult stem cells from the cord that is umbilical cord okay because the umbilical cord is a uh, 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 discarded material after the cesarean so you can use you can preserve the stem uh, umbilical cord and you can isolate the stem cells from there and you can directly preserve the stem cells or or you can directly use them so uh, the stem cells which are isolated and uh, derived from the umbilical cord are known as the cord derived mesenchymal stem cells okay so mesenchymal uh, here is a, a property of a cell so uh, there are two types of cells one is the epithelial stem cells and second is the mesenchymal stem cells okay so epithelial cells have the property to adhere at a place and mesenchymal cells uh, structurally they are elongated and have the property to invade and migrate at other places from one place okay so uh, the cells are described second is the scaffolds okay so what are the scaffold because when you use the stem cells in your body they should have any they need any support to grow or any surface area to grow okay because the epithelial cells and the uh, few other cells 
need some base and attachment to grow so if you if you uh, want to regenerate a part of a lung or say a part of a kidney so you uh, need a scaffold and you put the cells stem cells there and they adhere there and they uh, take the shape of the scaffold after growing there so scaffold is a base material for and uh, that provide the surface area to grow the cells and size also shape also okay so uh, the scaffold uh, used in the tissue engineering should be biocompatible and uh, and uh, they should not have the toxicity to the normal cells and uh, after the uh, uh, limited time period when uh, the stem cells regenerated the, the tissue uh, the scaffold should be degraded itself so it the material used for the scaffold should be such as that it should not produce toxicity to the uh, normal cells and it should degrade after some time when the cells have uh, um, grown at their required shape and size okay so next is the growth factors so for uh, uh, the differentiation of the stem cells to a specific type of cell say uh, you need to grow the kidney cells or you regenerate the kidney tissue so you you put the stem cells at the kidney with the scaffold and you provide the stem cells uh, such a such as growth factors which is essential for uh, differentiation of the stem cells to the kidney cells okay if at other place uh, such as liver uh, if you want to grow uh, uh, regenerate the liver tissue you will provide the growth factors which are responsible for conversion of stem cells into the liver cells so growth factors are the uh, nutrients or the um, factors which are required to differentiate a stem cell into the required cell desired cell type okay so uh, hope this detail session uh, you are uh, it is you are satisfied with this detail session and if you have any query you can write in the comment box and i will resolve the problem this is uh, uh, powered by the digital version 2 jyoti vidyapeet women's university and thank you